Hey, hey guys, and welcome. I'm going to do the tips for round 14 this week. Also graduated early this week, so I've got the nice little uh, hat on for you guys. So I'll check that one on and keep it on throughout the show. Adelaide Hawthorne, both had the bye last week, and they're at Adelaide Oval. It's uh, no real form guide here, but it's hard to go past the Crows at home. Hawthorne aren't in great form, it has to be said, pretty inconsistent. Capable of a big upset, but uh, the Crows very, very hard to beat at home in amazing form. I'll have to go Adelaide on this one. Sydney and Essendon at the SCG, and the Swans just willed their way across the line over the Tigers, getting a nice win there. And the Bombers, so uh, they had the bye, so a bit of a rest for them. I'm going to go Sydney by 11 points. They're really just finding their way, muscling their way back. They're not far off out of the eight. They've got an amazing side. If they bring that pressure, they're very hard to stop, and I don't believe that will be enough to get them across the line. Very close game, and if Essendon is switched on, we'll go for the Bombers. And then the next game we have Collingwood and Port Adelaide at the MCG. And the Pies, uh, they had the bye. Port Adelaide won by 40 points. Over the lines in a reasonably tough game, sort of, I suppose, if you want to call it tough. Uh, I think the Pies will be pretty fresh off uh, the bye, and I reckon uh, I'm going to tip him in this game by four points, uh, especially being at the MCG, mainly because it's at home, and I'm tipping everyone because they're at home, but it's very hard to uh, win into state for any team, so certainly won't be... Uh, I don't think Port Adelaide's form has really matched up well against better sides. I'd consider calling it a, a good side. Uh, on their day, they can, they've been pretty competitive in most of the games they've been in, and I think Port Adelaide away from home against reasonable opposition, they can struggle. So I'm going to go to the Pies, but it'll be very tough, and I almost expect Port to win. So great logic there. Brisbane Lions up against the Giants, who had the bye. This is at the Gabba, and the Lions, uh, they were gallant, but went down to Port Adelaide, as I said, by 40 points. As a tip to the Giants here, 29-point victors, I reckon. Um, they will be too strong, too classy, and Brisbane will give them a bit of a run for portions of the game, but I expect the Giants to just be way too good in the end. So the Giants there, the Dogs and North Melbourne at Etihad Stadium, and these teams both had very disappointing weekends last week, and they would love to get a little bit of a response, and especially the Dogs who I think they've lost four of their last five. They haven't been in great touch at all, and Bevo under the pump by the media. North Melbourne was involved in probably the worst game of the season uh, last Friday night against the Saints. Going down convincingly there. I'm not confident on this tip, but I'm going the Dogs by 16 points. They barely got across the line last time, but North were in better touch. Dogs probably were in better touch as well. But I'm going to go the Dogs. I think they'll uh, hopefully bounce back. They need to, and it will be a big game for them. Speaking of big games, we've got West Coast and Melbourne. At Domain Stadium, the Eagles uh, pipped the Cats by 13 points. Uh, very uh, interesting scoreboard there. And the Demons, a massive win over the Dogs, nearly 10 goals. And being at Domain Stadium, yep, I'm going to tip the Eagles by two points. I think Melbourne really uh, got them last time. Uh, it was six points in the end. Very close game. And that was at Domain Stadium as well. Melbourne pushed them right to the edge and probably deserved to win, really. I think they had heaps more inside for this than somehow lost. But I'm going to go... The Eagles by two points. Be a very, very close game, though, and could go either way for sure. Melbourne in great touch. I think mainly because it's at home for them. Melbourne, I reckon they've been up for a few weeks down for due for poor one. We'll go with that one. Geelong and Fremantle at Simmons Stadium. The first game on Sunday. We're going to go to the Cats by 33 points. Uh, Fremantle have been in awful touch lately, but they'll love having the bye uh, in place for them. And the Cats, they weren't very good against West Coast. West Coast bought a lot of heat and a lot of pressure, and Played a really good game, one of their better games for the season. So the Cats went down there, no Tomahawk, two early injuries. Oh, listen to all my excuses there. Uh, I think, yeah, the Cats, they just play so good at home, and along with a lot of other sides. And I, I think, yeah, they'll, they'll just have that ball movement, that run and gun play, and the Dockers aren't really doing too much to set the world on fire at the moment. So you have to do the Cats. And we've got Richmond and Carlton of the MCG, good old-fashioned rivalry. Tigers went down to the Swans and they, they had the game and they lost it. Can't believe it. And the Blues were very, very impressive against the Suns. They got, got out of the blocks and then the Suns challenged them. They came back in the last quarter and got the job done. In saying all this, I'm going to go to Richmond by nine points. Just feel like they've got a little bit more class, a little bit more to go along with um, everything there. Carlton are very good defensively. I think Richmond are also uh, number one, number two in the comp for defence. So, 
Look, one of them lost in the midfield. Will they tag mine? Probably. I'm going to go to Tigers just. Going to be a 50 50 flip the ah, 50 50 flip the coin. Final game, we've got St Kilda and Gold Coast at Etihad Stadium. The Saints uh, got a win against the North pretty convincingly in the end. They probably didn't win by the margin they should have, but that's how it went. And the Gold Coast, very disappointing. Didn't show up in the first quarter against the Blues and uh, very disappointing. So I won't be too happy with that. I'm going to go to the Saints by 25. I feel like I'm going to every home game here except for Brisbane. There you go. So I'm uh, going the Saints by 25. Mainly because it's at Eddie Had. They love their run and gun game at Eddie Had Stadium. They also love their pressure around the ball. So it's hard to tip against them. So feel free to comment your tips, guys. Feel free to give it a video a like, subscribe for more of these. It'll be amazing. And uh, congratulations, my degree as well. It'll be amazing. Chuck that in the comments. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video.